Hi, and welcome to English with Stuart to another class on phrasal verbs in my series. So check out my other classes on my YouTube channel of uh, phrasal verb lessons. So today we're going to have a look at the phrasal verb uh, beginning with the verb break. So phrasal verbs with the word break, to break. Okay, before I start, remember to click like, subscribe and share. And if you have any comments or you'd like me to make you a video, I'm very open to suggestions. Please put any comments in the chat in the comments below. Okay, let's start. So the first to break is to break away. To break away. The horses broke away from the stables. The horses broke away from the stables. Is to escape. Is to escape. Then we have to break down. Now, to break down, well, to break down is when something mechanical stops working. For example, I'm sorry I'm late for work today, but my car broke down on the motorway. Or the car, my car broke down on the highway, if you're looking in American English. Okay, I broke down. The car broke down. Yeah. And the next one is to break something down. So when we put something, a name or something, in between break and down, it changes the meaning. So please break the information down into small pieces so that I can process it in my mind. I break down my classes into pieces and episodes so that you can enjoy them independently. I don't do all my phrasal verbs in one class. I break them down into five minute segments. Then we have to break into. Okay, now what is break into? Break into. Well, it's to enter with force. I left my keys in my house and I closed the front door and now I can't get into my house. I'm going to have to break into my house. And that would mean to enter with force, so break the door or break the window to enter the house. Now this is an interesting one because you can use this as a noun. He had a break-in last week. Now, if, if we were to use this as a break-in, what are we talking about? Well, he had a break-in last week. Well, if someone breaks into your house that you haven't authorised, that you haven't given permission to, what are they doing in your house? Why are they in your house? Well, the natural conclusion here is that they have come to steal. Yeah, they are in your house to steal. And that you could call a house robbery, or more commonly, a burglary. A burglary is a house robbery. That's the official word. But casually, we often say a break-in. A break-in. He had a break-in in his house last week. Then to break off. To break off is to discontinue. I'm going to break off uh, the video in two minutes when I've explained everything I need to, of course, I'm going to break off the video. I'm going to finish. I'm going to discontinue. I'm going to stop the video, okay? To break off. To break out. Well, break out's an interesting one because it can be to erupt, yeah? A riot broke out after the result of the court case. A riot broke out. Or, it's so hot today... I'm breaking out in a sweat. Or the teenager broke out in acne on his face because of his hormones. Then there's to break out of. Now that's the opposite of break into. They broke out of prison. So it's to exit, to come out of somewhere, to go out of somewhere with force, to break out. Then there's to break up. Now, break up is quite simple. To separate is the formal verb. And it can be used for various things. You know, break up the chocolate into pieces. Separate the chocolate into pieces. To give the, the children a piece each. Or you could have it, for example, as a separation of a, a relationship. So, they uh, broke up last week. 
the, the boyfriend and girlfriend, the couple broke up last week. Or you could use this as a noun. They had a terrible breakup. They had a terrible separation. They had a terrible separation. So those are the phrasal verbs with break. And I hope those really helped you today. As I say, check out my other videos for phrasal verbs. Most of my videos are listed with a particular verb and then the different prepositions afterwards. So you can have a look and study each specific verb with its different prepositions and meanings. And thank you for watching my video today and I will see you very soon.